street child to push me towards something that they want. Onward, I struggle through deep marshes, slowly trust. Turn the teeth stretching out below me, and then there is a nudge. And this is John Jackson on guitar, and we're so excited to be here to talk about the really important issue of voting. And I, I, I got to thinking about it when I knew I was going to be on this, and was talking to my aunt, and she was sitting in her house. She lives way out in the country in West Tennessee, and she was just feeling defeated, like we all do, kind of watching news and thinking, what can we do to have any impact whatsoever? As we got to talking, we both decided, you know, we could vote and make sure everybody we know votes and don't stop until we make sure they're all voting and that that's a way to have some sort of power you know and so the piece I want to do uh, sort of spun off of that and I was thinking about you know all the impacts that voting have like I'm super concerned about the way women's bodies are treated and you know how women's bodies have been battlegrounds from the get-go and uh, so who, who I vote for will definitely be someone that I'm, uh, is concerned about that. And this piece is called Granny's Panties. It's Saturday night at the Murphy Center. And I'm sucking on a sour apple pixie stick while my mama sidearms a pair of pink panties up at Tom Jones singing on the stage. What's new, pussy cat? What's new? Now her best friend Betty won her step ins too. Except she got her waistband caught on a high heel shoe. These two have hope and he would call the number pinned on the cotton crotch. Basically, we got a bunch of southpaws detonating their delicates. Kaboom! Come on, it's just good, clean fun, girls. It's just good, clean fun. Whatever happened to unmentionables? Private parts, they used to say. These two just got caught up in the collective. Oh, everybody does it this way. Harmless, maybe. Let's go, baby. Everybody keep their eyes wide shut. Too much winkity winkity wink, and we all fall down. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Meanwhile, Tom Jones' wife is back in Wales, just collecting shells along the shore. She can't stop thinking about all those girls stolen from that school in Nigeria. Now, I don't want to confuse an atrocity with mere vulgarity. But girl bodies been battlefields from the get-go. Consider this connection. When I was growing up, my Baptist had two bases. Never take the Lord's name in vain. Amen. And get rid of all that women's underarm Bright enough to set on Moses on fire. Fire! Because this beyond this girl bodies in the fields from the get go. And I'm looking for a logical line between cleanliness and colonizing the bodies and minds of our baby girls. Because it's Saturday. 
Friday night at the Murphy Center. It's happening everywhere. I cannot, I mean, you're probably thinking the same thing. How did this get started? We know some of the reasons for it, but when I'm thinking about my own culture, and that's all I can, you know, I can only speak to is how did this violence become so prevalent and harsh in my own culture? So I taught psychology for a while, and I was thinking of connections. And I was thinking of there's a correlation, not a cause, between authoritarian get this, it's true, parenting and people's willingness to follow an authoritative, authoritative leader. So it's wild, you know, how, how we're raised has something to do with what we're willing to sort of give over our power to. And I, as I thought more and more about that, I thought, you know, it's kind of like, in a lot of ways, some of the people I knew uh, growing up were were basically raised in a fight club. You know, the number one rule about fight club, if you remember, is you never talk about fight club. My family had this basic gun case with a glass face. It was filled with a, I don't know, a couple of simple rifles, a pearl-handled pistol from my grandmother, and two sawed-off shotguns. <laughs> My mama had a basic black Buick. That on the bumper sticker it said, Corporal Punishment, a God-given good idea. She hated those left-leaning liberals put their kids in time out talk to them, crumb bums. Basically building a devil's army of nearly wells. If you don't whip these kids, man, they're gonna wind up in jail. 1007 Maple Street was a fight club. Put up your dukes and teach a Midas right club. Blister their bottoms, hand your hide, kind of love. Oh, trust it. Well, look at old Alice Acres, she cautioned that wet noodle while her kids crayon colored all over the walls just sat there sipping sango and smoking cools. Those kids are going to wind up doing time, fools. Because in our fight club, when they do wrong, now we do wrong. So in the good book in black and white, spare the rod, you're going to spoil the child. This merciful mandate followed us to school one day, school one day, when the Board of Education was applied to the seat of understanding. Little holes drilled into the wild part of the pedal made that sucker sing more swiftly through the air. Think about it. The word discipline and disciple are spelled pretty close to the same way. My Dottie said, listen here, smarty pants, we beat Randy's butt with a Hot Wheel track and he turned out just fine. Oh, oh no, ain't Dottie. Randy, Randy did not turn out fine. Randy did not. Basic violence was bred into us. Like blonde hair, blue eyes, and Bible verses. Love one another. Do good to those who hate you. Come on and turn the other cheek. And beat your kids.
that Donald had spit on her during a game of dodgeball. And you know, we all know, diplomacy is time consuming, y'all. So I jacked his jaw with a swift south paw. It's a simple message. It packs a powerful punch. When there's a dispute over who's right and who's wrong, you ball your fist, baby. The battle's on. It's simple science, mathematical. You spare the run. You're gonna spoil the world. Once a soft skin is broken, then human decency is no longer spoken. You've basically got a bunch of spiritually justified ass weapons happening all over town. The preemptive is redemptive, or so they say. Truth is, nothing simple is it. Not love. not even grace. If there's one thing we know for sure, we cannot make this family great again by beating each other's bottoms. We're broken monsters, taking fears revenge. Once in the fire, we're burned with sin. Beating each other with a number on a long, long, long scar. Oh, baby, throw a punch, hell. Drop a bomb in this fight club. White club, mine is right. So I've also been thinking about how important it is to have more women in office. I think when I was growing up, I don't know if there was a woman senator. I don't think there was. And I was just thinking about being a little girl and looking to leaders and who you can be when you grow up. And there was nobody, and we're getting more and more and more. But when you think about the issues that are at hand, if I had all these men voting on things that are about my body, I don't, I'm not sure they're going to have the best answer. I don't, I'm not saying they won't have an answer, but I'm not sure it's the best answer. And um, uh, so... It concerns me. I'm concerned about that. And so when I'm going out to vote this time, or every time, I'm trying to vote in the little elections, the middle-sized election, and the giant ones, because we figured out it's happening at the ground, you know, ground level. I need to know who's head of the school board. Hell, I want to know who's head of the condo association at this point. Um, but uh, so this piece looks more at that one. It's called Keys to the Kingdom. <laughs> Oh, 
over here there's a school bus driver on holiday who's ordered room service cheese pizza to celebrate. She's already got a hot wedge angle in her mouth. Her old man threatens to lock her up in a motel room. Rattles his sack of bourbon. Says, hon, I'll be back soon. Then he switches the channel to porn and mouths to her. Enjoy. Instead, she watches 102 Congress women being sworn in on TV. I got the keys to the kingdom. The world can't do me no harm. I got the keys to the kingdom. The world can't do me no harm. Now I'm in a tiny little town in a dimly lit gym in Tennessee. The game clock has stopped. Number 23 plants her feet at the foul line. This is the state finals, y'all, and the game is in overtime. She got hacked. She's the jumper at the top of the key. She spins the orange globe between her two calloused hands. The crowd is so loud. They shout and stand. Miss it, girl. Miss it. Watch the arc of the ball as this globe leaves her hand. It's a rainbow shape in this gym lit promised land. Swish! The crowd goes wild as 102 Congress women are being sworn in on TV. I got the keys to the kingdom. World can do me no harm. I got the keys to the kingdom. The world can't do me no harm. I keep the keys in my bosom. I carry them everywhere I go. I keep the keys in my bosom. I carry them everywhere I go. Thank you to John Jackson back here playing some amazing guitar. I want to say, we're going to do one more for you, but first we really want to thank Brightheart, and this is noteworthy today, and uh, for this amazing opportunity. And I don't know about you, but in this world we're living in, sometimes it seems up is down and right is left, and, and the symbols I've looked at my whole life don't mean what they used to mean. And uh, so this last piece I want to do for you is uh, sort of pointing towards that. And um, it's called Rainbows. It's lunchtime. People pour out a Shoney's. And rear back up at a rainbow, shimmering after a storm. Have you ever wondered if rainbows are really, maybe, a gay goddess's handle on her pocketbook? And she's about to pull us up into her lap. Good God, and give us a strong, strong talking to. Maybe rainbows are not a remembrance of a final flood anymore. over to our birthright of forgotten decency. Or maybe rain.
rainbows are just the shape is made while the bald guy juggles whole fryers on the black top. Yeah. Somebody said rainbows are the results of our singing. Yeah. And it's our crooning that curves the colors into a semi-circular shimmer. I mean, I, I sing in the rain. across Bible-sized catastrophes. Oh, yeah. Today, there's a jam on that bridge. Slim Jim stuck in the throat. Yeah. Slim Jim. This is John Jackson. You can find us at mintonsparks.com. If you'd like to be a part of our community and part of these kinds of conversations that we're doing weekly, it's at The Sparks uh, on that webpage. You can also download our latest record. There's a digital download on mintonsparks.com. Remember, together there's harmony on the horizon. James of Black. My name is Bruce James. My name is Bell Black. And we're here because uh, the importance of community and democracy, aka voting, is absolutely crucial to our survival. Um, this is our true voice. With uh, without changing the laws, without changing our representation, we don't have representation. So that's why we're here. And this song is called "The Days." And music is our weapon of choice.
that we remember us, 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 us. We're not running away. We're marching forward. Thank you for that. And uh, the next tune we're going to do is a new one off our new EP. And this one is called War Came Around. This was written by uh, Bella. And uh, we are in a war right now. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, yeah, this is a, really a war. People are dying and uh, things need to change. So that's what this song is about. <laughs> So, uh, once again, we're James and Black. We have uh, some friends of ours we'd like to thank, and uh, we're going to do that after the next song. But this next tune uh, we're going to do is called Right On, and, uh, you know, the story hasn't changed. The story has been the same forever, and uh, when we realize we're all fighting on the same thing, uh, t same team for the same thing, we'll be a lot better off. 
the bottom line is the same for anybody that breathes, more or less. So once we realize that, we'll, we'll be much better off. You are a human. That's it. And you might just have a different colored hue, but we're all humans. Let's not forget. some people that are making this possible for us today and uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors we'd like to thank the Fairlane Hotel the uh, the go-to team and uh, Nashville is not just country music that's a foundation I believe and I think you already knew that Nashville was not just country music but we'd like to thank them for sponsoring us today once again we're James and Black we have a website yeah we do. Come it's, on. It's jamesandblack.org. Uh, we have a new EP coming out on the 17th of July. Um, and uh, there's a new video uh, for the, the song that we played a, a while ago called War Came Around. So It's online, so you definitely got to check us out. Please reach Looking out. Looking forward to seeing you there. Say hello and uh, vote. Please vote, 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 vote. This is how we change things. And vote. as long as we remember, we're all in this together. Really? Yeah. And... Uh, so please vote. Just vote and uh, do the right thing. We got one more song for you, and we hope to see y'all sooner than later. Thank you. So 
Together, guys, there is harmony on the horizon. Gazing 